Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Hardcore. Last episode was all about the decor, and I think we did an absolutely fantastic job with it. I mean, look at this place. It's really coming together. Now, I know I promised that sometimes we'd be doing decorating and sometimes we'd be making progress, but like, I'm, I'm in the mood for decorating, I'm not gonna lie to you. And sometimes, honestly, when you're in the mood for decorating, you just gotta decorate. Right, everybody? Barbara? Oh, you're not Barbara. You're unnamed. Who are you? Pierre. Hi, Pierre. How's sales at the shop going? Is that Barbara on the inside? Barbara. It is. Oh, Barbara works in the bakery. How wonderful. Okay. Life is good around the village. Before we get too far in today's episode, though, I do have a quick interruption but from myself that I need you to watch real quick. Just wanted to stop the video for a minute to announce that I have officially launched this adorable little plushie. I absolutely love her. She's available for pre-order now. The link will be down below. She has so many adorable little details to look just like my Minecraft skin, such as the strap that is falling down, the adorable little embroidered moon on the background, and flower crown. I love her and I hope that you do too. Okay, now that I got that over with, I can get back to the very serious matter of working on this. Um, obtain an elytra, we did. Uh, we, di we didn't do any of the rest of this, but you know what? We can work in this general area today, I've decided, because we can tie that into some decorations. We have areas, <laughs> I have a new mouse, you're gonna see me misclicking a lot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we have this area out here that, uh, I don't know, it's... It's like my messy area, right? Our zombie grinder is down here, which we use a lot. My sugarcane farm is here. This is where I've been farming a little bit of wood. I come out here for dark oak wood. We have the sheep, which are beautiful, by the way. And then we have this like lump of cows. This is not working anymore. We need to do something. It's really ruining the whole castle aesthetic here. Speaking of castle aesthetic, I know that I need to work on my home. I'm just... I, life is a lot right now, to be honest. Um, I'm still working in the hospital right now. I know that I've spoke about that a few times. I am training to become a laboratory technician in the hospital. So those are the people who like take your blood, um, help diagnose you when you're feeling ill. Sometimes they're looking at your cancerous tumors. Sometimes they're looking at your blood. Sometimes they're looking at literally any other thing that comes out of your body. It's really fun and really interesting, but Oh boy, does it make me tired. So, I have only about three weeks left in the hospital. So, we'll say for safety about four more episodes until I'm done and I'm back home at my desk and not recording from my grandparents' basement. And I kind of want to take on the castle around then, so I know it feels like I'm kind of just stalling this out. I'm really not. I just, I want to be at my desk when I take this on because I want it to be really good. And um, besides, we have a lot of other things that we can work on in the meantime. Ah, oh, it's gathering time! Look at us go! Hello, everyone! How are we doing today? Do you know what? I bet we should do a bit of naming. How... where's my good librarian? Where's Florence? Florence! There we go. Let's get a name tag off of you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Nice to meet you all. We have this amazing toolsmith here who works here at the blacksmith, and I would like to name this toolsmith Dorothy. Dorothy, welcome to the family. Are you friends with Archie? That's fantastic. And Oliver. Great. Okay, you'll fit in here great. Thank you very much, Dorothy. I will get around to naming everyone eventually, but I feel like introducing the name slowly makes more sense for the character development of this world, to be honest, and also for my own personal scatterbrain needs. Now, let's talk about what we need to do with this farm. We need to move the sugarcane farm, but we also need to move the cows. I asked at the end of one of the previous episodes what I should do about this, and honestly, I've decided on my own idea that it's kind of a compromise between the two. So the choices were to have this path right here continue into the woods and we would have animals down in the forest, or the other option was to finish building out this area with like a barn and a chicken coop and have this be like the animal area. And both of these options are fantastic. Uh, we're gonna go with option number three though, which is my personal choice of, I had a brilliant idea, chicken. A brilliant idea. And I've decided that we're going to do my brilliant idea instead. Sorry, commenters. All we gotta do is head into the forest over here and pick out the perfect 
spot for this project. I'm not sure exactly what that's gonna be, but I feel like I'll know it when I see it. Hello, horsey. Are you stuck or are you just chilling? Do you need me to move this? How you doing? You're super cute. You have spots. Look at you. Is this a sign? Is this where I need to be? You can, you're free. You can... You don't have to be stuck. This is a personal choice. Okay, big cave here. Um, honestly, yeah, I think the horse was onto something. I think this area right here might be just about perfect. Kind of to the side of my tower, just behind the windmill. I'm gonna talk back here with the chicken and the horse. Let's do it. I'm gonna use this area. Oh, actually, these two trees are really nice. I might try to leave them. Okay. All I gotta do now is prep the land. I wanna leave it kinda foresty, but like not too foresty. Never fear, my building boxes are here and I'm just gonna cover up these caves to be honest with you. Don't really wanna deal with it. All right, now that I've successfully picked out my little foresty groove right here, I'm gonna create a little animal pen. I brought a bunch of oak with me and you know, just all of the other general building supplies that I thought that I might need and um, yeah. I think, I think I'll kinda take off some of these leaves that aren't really relevant. Try to fluff up these custom trees, or no, they're, they're not custom trees. Try to customize these sapling trees a little bit and make this place a home. Now, I know what you're thinking. This looks pretty much exactly like any other pen on the planet. It's got two trees in it. It's in a forest, it's fences, and we have a horse inside. Pretty simple, right? basic little animal pen. Nothing brilliant about this at all. However, I decided I would like to live out some of my cottagecore dreams and create a whimsical forest pen for a very special animal. I have also accidentally adopted a pet horse who will be our uh, shepherd of, of sorts. You know how they have sheep dogs? This is gonna be our cow horse. That That's, yep. All right, the pen is not yet decorated, but pretty good so far. So I think it is time for us to go and get our special guests. But first, I, I need some of their favorite treats. Hang on, go into the farm. I am definitely gonna need a little bit of wheat. Maybe a lot. Meh, I'm kind of lazy. 16 will probably do the trick. All I need now is my leads, which I'm sure I have somewhere. Yes, perfect. Ah, this is gonna be a breeze. And now I don my elytra and we head off into the un uh, in into the un yes nailed it perfect okay I do wonder sometimes what the villagers think about me look at that pen oh it's perfect okay we are heading over to the mushroom island let's go it's truly been very challenging up until now to appreciate just how close we are to this special island over here. We haven't really visited this island much. I haven't done anything with it because I'm kind of focused on my castle. But boy, is it beautiful. And of course, deep inside the mysterious mushroomy land is these lovely creatures, the mushroom. And I've never actually kept mushroom before. So I've decided today's the day we're gonna have mushroom at our base i mean why not right they're, they're like they're so cute hello local mushroom i would like to take you home with me can i convince you to do that yep 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 come on come on that's it and one of you is gonna get in a boat perfect and then the rest of you are gonna come with me i'll take some mushrooms as well to make you feel more at home this is up there with the strangest things I've ever done in survival Minecraft, but I am hoping that it'll work. Oh! Oh yes. Yes, it'll work. <laughs> I kind of love it. Okay, cows! Home, sweet home we go. They fast! Gosh, we can really move. Okay. Cows got speed. I see you. Oh, darn it. The leads broke. But I don't have them. Where'd the leads go? Oh, they're floating. They're floating. They're floating. Okay, crisis averted. All is well. It's fine. We, got, we almost made it. There it is. There's my tower. Oh, you're all going to love it here. I promise. Okay. We made it to shore. I think I have two cows. 
Three cows, please. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Can we please play follow the leader for a little while? Come on. I think when people were excited about me fighting the dragon, they were probably excited about the prospect of me doing difficult things like a raid and the wither. Not dragging cows from one island to another, but this is me and I am me and here we are and I, I like it. I'm quite happy with our current prospects. All right, don't fall down the hole, please. Easy, e yep, nailed it, nailed it. I'm so proud of you. Cow horse, we're home. Look, I brought you some bodies. You're gonna be so pleased once I get these guys inside. Here we go, come on, everybody in. That's it, that's it. Make some children, please, I would like that. Oh, <laughs> I forgot how cute they were. Oh my goodness, it's so epic. Such a little mystical mushroom land. All right, I'll be the first to admit, it's not much yet, but we can work with it, right? We can work with it. I feel like it's got a lot of potential. Just collecting a few more supplies now, such as some flowers and some podzle, and heading back out to the lovely little magical mystical cow pen. Magical mystical cow pen is, is quite the name for it. <laughs> I think I need something that rolls off the tongue a little better. I have continued the path, as you can see, and I've created this little archway <laughs> right here. It's kind of very subtle, but it's like right on the forest line here, and you kind of walk through it. And then as you come through here, I'd like to have more bushes. And as you can see, I've done a few of the nether plants, just heading over towards our cow pen over here. I also wanted to go ahead and do just a couple of other little flowers all around because I feel like that just really makes such a difference to a world having these around. Look at that. It's so much better. It's so much brighter. It's definitely needed. Plus the bee will love it, won't you? <laughs> Sorry, these are not for you. I feel like I'm really doing quite the job of just kind of mystifying this entire thing, making it a bit more magical. It's still pretty simple. I mean, it's nothing crazy, but it gives us a reason to come out in this direction and it gives us sort of a little bit of a theme change from the very harsh official castle that sits over there. It's like a cute little flower area, harsh, amazing castle, raid proof, you know, you get, it. it's fine. It's a good juxtaposition. Is that the word? That's probably the word, right? Yeah. I want to see how a couple of mushrooms in this area would do. I would like to eventually maybe customize them, but for now, I'm just gonna grow some because I just think it looks cute. <laughs> and we can do some mini ones eventually with ender rods, maybe some of those nice slapped ones, but for now, just gonna do a couple of these grown ones. I think that this is perfect. The mushrooms are going to feel so much more at home with these mushrooms around. This is great. I love it. We also have this weird, funky little pond over here. And since it's right off the path, I think we ought to terraform this a little bit and make it, you know, pretty. It's gotta fit in with the theme. So let's round it off just a little bit and see if I can't get a beautiful, mystical little pond right here. I'm kind of seeing potential right here for like a little stream. I don't. I don't know if that'll necessarily work, but I do think that would be very cute. I'm gonna see if I can make it work. Just kind of placing a bunch of water and hoping for the best. Oh, look, it's flowing. It's definitely flowing. I think it's perfect. Look at this. It's got like the cute little water in it. Oh, I love it. And now I'll get just a little bit of andesite in a couple of spots to sort of polish it off. And then I think we can call this complete. Uh, just kidding. I've decided that I really want some lily pads and also some mossy cobble. Whoopsie. Got the gear. Now all I gotta do is place it around in a couple spots. Oh, this will make the pond look so much better. This still needs a little bit of cleaning up around the edges, but nothing I can't handle. And just like that, I feel as though this area is a massive success got lots and lots of greenery all around and I just absolutely adore it. This is my official new happy and peaceful place. It's such a good contrast from the castle. I'm so glad we did this. All right, with one set of animals taken care of, I feel it's time to focus my attention back over to this side now where we have the sugarcane. 
this is ugly very ugly and it kind of ruins like that I can't really have a path go through here because the cows and the sugar cane it just you know it doesn't look right I'd like to have a watchtower out here maybe I don't know something cool can't do it at the minute because there's way too much going on so we are going to be relocating the sugar cane more specifically we are going to be relocating the sugar cane to the tunnel the ice tunnel this is where our farms are currently and I feel like it would be great to just continue this along and do a sugarcane farm sugarcane farm I do believe should be able to fit somewhere down here um basically <laughs> what I think I'm gonna do mark in a few more of these pillars so that I know where everything is I think I was going every three yeah every three just you know properly count this out and then we'll pick one of the pillars and in that spot we'll do sugarcane I want to avoid overlapping with the carrot farm, so I think this panel right here is gonna do it. The only thing that I've gotta do now is dig. Um, a lot. Quite a lot of digging to get a big enough room to do some sugarcane growth. I mean, it doesn't need to be like a massive farm. Basically, the size that we have now works. Just gotta put it underground. It shouldn't be too hard, really. Um, I'll get to work. I didn't really mean to do redstone, but <laughs> I've done it. I've done redstone. I, I figured after thinking about it when I cleared out the room that I may as well just go ahead and do a simple redstone sugarcane farm so that I don't have to come down here every single time it grows. This is a Tango Tech design. If you want to build it yourself, I'll link his tutorial down below. This should be great though because the other farms down here are semi-automatic so I feel like it fits to just have a fully automatic sugarcane farm to be honest. And it seems to be working absolutely great so it'll be fantastic for villager trades. Also, I tamed a kitty! This is our kitty. This is our tunnel kitty. Tunnel kitty is going to keep creepers out of the tunnel which is lovely. Okay, so now that the sugarcane farm is taken care of, all I gotta do is destroy this old one that is super ugly and definitely in the way. And with that job done, the only thing we're worrying about outside of the castle now is these cows. We, we already have our other cows. Now we have these cows. So, cows, I'm gonna give you a home today. Don't you worry. You're so cute. Okay, um, <laughs> we don't really use the cows for much anymore. I eat golden carrots, so I figure I'll just plop them somewhere. Maybe like right here? This hill looks kind of good, right? That could work. I feel like that could work. So here's my plan. I want to have a little barn tucked into this nook right here. And we'll be able to have a path coming through here like a main road and then we'll have this little animal farm kind of offset just to the side near the main castle keep that's eventually going to be over here. I think that'll be super cute. I hope. Because I'm, I'm doing it. I always like doing a barn three wide here and I think then I'm going to go two. It's going to be a little weird to have a little even panel but it'll still be an odd number so i think we're okay and then we're gonna have to build this up fairly tall i'd say just above the tree line about right here to make it look like a big official barn maybe like one more down no no no, no that was good that was good then we're gonna slowly staircase some slabs upwards to hopefully get a good pattern going full box here Perfect. Now we're gonna go backwards a fair distance. I think about three of these panels should, should do it. I'm just spacing them by three, like so. Easy enough, right? I absolutely love building up stuff like this. This, it might actually be my favorite thing, like ever. <laughs> I look forward to, at the end of a long day, coming home and thinking to myself, ah, yes going to build a cow pen today and it's going to be fantastic it's, it's genuinely it just life is so much better when you're making cow pens all day it's a good time i recommend it okay so here is the general shape of the barn so far i can already tell i don't like the roof shape it's too smooth across here it needs to curve downwards a little bit more so like one more block off of these pillars and yeah a full adjustment on the shape but this height is great i think it it really stands out in this area and it's far enough away from the castle that it doesn't take away from the castle it'll just sort of add to it as we leave here yeah, and I love that these are on different levels. Oh, we could do so much with this terrain. I'm excited. Okay, it's time up time. Let's get into it. It's building. Let's do it. Cow 
roof and construction is going extremely well. I am now just digging up some podzol because to be honest, I think it'll make a great decoration. And also this area was sort of unintentionally infiltrated with podzol when I was growing trees here. So we're gonna just reverse the damage that I did here and replace it with something better. Okay, I'll be honest, this is not a lot better. Now it's just patchy, but it's fine. Let's, uh, let's go detail the barn. Look at my glorious barn. I also did a little wheelbarrow. I'd like to do a well out here. Just generally, you know, a good time for the animals. We can do a chicken coop. Oh, there's so many options. A rabbit pen? You know, I've never had a rabbit pen. But anyways, I'm gonna dig out the floor in here and I'm gonna replace it with coarse dirt, podzol, and also some spruce, which I don't actually have the spruce yet. There we go. Just generally gonna make a really, really messy looking floor. I've seen this done by a few other creators. I think Mythical Sausage comes to mind. Flip has done it, I'm pretty sure. Probably Corallus and Beat Up Below. This is a pretty typical barn design. It's, it's nothing crazy that we haven't seen before, I'm sure, but I'm really enjoying the look of it in this world. Okay, floor is dug out and now we're just gonna make it all messy and crazy and stuff. I added this little workstation in here so that I could work because I'm hoping the cows won't like insanely take over the place. I hope it'll be like relatively normal in here, at least a little bit. I'm gonna try to center the planks just a little bit and have the dirt more towards the edges. Like yeah, I think that'll work and then the rest is coarse dirt. Okay, this is awesome. I don't claim to know a lot about barn building but I really like what I've done in here. I'm just gonna let the cows free roam in here. I don't have like a pasture or anything set up. I think maybe we can eventually do a fenced area off to the side and have a doorway, kind of like I have in my other vanilla world. But for right now, this will do the trick. Now, all I gotta do is grab some wheat and free the cows. Okay, cows, you ready? Oh boy. <laughs> okay, chill, 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 chill. Everybody's chill, it's fine. Everybody in. Come on, come on. Yes, this is your brand new home. This is our home. Welcome. Come on in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Come on. You come around. That's it. That's it. Everybody inside. Okay. Nailed it. Well done. Good job. We did great. I feel like that's perfect. Look, they'll spread out a little bit. They've got just enough room. They're out of the rain. Oh, it's perfect. Now. This is a little bit of a mess. Um, that, my friends, is what we call natural selection. <laughs> Look at them in the window! <laughs> uh, I didn't intend for the trapdoors to have this effect, but that's actually so cute. <laughs> we just need some like cauldrons with water, I think, and then some hay bales, and it'll be all set up. All right, guys, there's your bucket of water. Here's some hay. Everybody should be more than happy in here. Lots of space compared to that little pen. Wonderful. Okay, now that these two eyesores are finally officially gone and moved to a much prettier location, I wanna fix up this area a bit. And this little lump of terrain right here is kind of bothering me because my, it's like down in a hole. My gate is downwards. It's weird, this gate in general is weird. We're gonna fix it. <laughs> sorry, this is a lot of building in one episode. I, if you're beget, I'm sorry if you're overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed, it's overwhelming, but it has to be done, so here we are. I'm just gonna literally cut off a little section of this terrain, and then from this section onwards, we're just gonna take it down a layer. Okay, look how much smoother this terrain is now. This just makes a lot more sense. And eventually I'm going to properly have a road going this way and I think maybe out towards that way. And then we'll also have some paths going through this sort of farming area. And I think we can do something with this little hill, build it up a little bit, just make it make sense in general. All right, the next thing to do on the agenda, now that that's all fixed up, is actually fix up this gate. So I think I actually made kind of a mistake with this. It's a little bit too wide for what it is. It, it's five wide and it's not really going to be five tall. It can only be two tall actually in reality. We can make it look like it's three tall though by putting some wood across it. 
and then we're just gonna go ahead and kind of border it in some wood, add a little bit of depth, and already this door just, oh, it just makes so much more sense. <laughs> I don't like this little lip of terrain here, by the way. I'm gonna cut that back, but I'll have to adjust the redstone just a little bit in order to do that. Actually, you know what? Let's just do it now, because it's actually super easy to do. All I gotta do is put the redstone right there instead, and then the block that goes on top of that redstone needs to have the button on it. Just like so, and it still works. Perfect, okay, so now I can cut this back a little tiny bit more and I'll be much happier with it, I think. So, basically what I'm going to do here now is just create a little bit of a door frame. Something cute. I don't know, something we can hopefully work with. Honestly, that's not much, but I actually think that works. <laughs> I was gonna do quite a lot more, but yeah, that's kind of cute. That kind of works. Yeah, let's do it on this side. I just take that bit out and just make it make sense, you know? Wow, this was such a simple change. I cannot believe that I put that off for so long. <laughs> eh, whoopsie. Also, just kind of looking at this now, I can already tell that it would look so much better with some fences in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make a few of those. And this right here just needs a couple of windows and it would improve the look so much. Like, let's do one like here, maybe, you know, maybe over. Like here? Is that too far apart? Like, I just think adding some of these little wooden details is gonna make all the difference to this castle in the end. And I might have just given this tower eyes and eyebrows. <laughs> it's an angry tower. It's angry. <laughs> no, it does look a lot better though already. It's, it needs some texture as well, but yeah, even though it looks like eyeballs, I'm, I'm not mad at it. I think it's better. I was just looking around my storage room and I actually remembered that I have a bunch of this coral and we worked this episode on the little mystical area through the farm over here and I, I want to use a bit of the coral. I totally forgot that this is something we can do. I mean, look at this area. It's so cute. We can just come in here and we can plop down a little bit of this. Oh, yes. Yep, I like it. We might need a little bit more of it down here, but we can also go ahead and bone meal this area. And I don't want it to be too thick. Like we'll leave a couple of gaps and that's so much better. It's so much greener. At nighttime with the sea pickles, it should look like this little glowing pond. It'll just be so cute. I'd also like to just bone meal a couple more of these blades of grass to get them taller. Just in general, getting this area looking super duper cute. I like it. Is everybody happy? Hello, hello. Right, well everyone, with that, I think that is going to be all for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun building today, and I hope that you didn't mind coming along for the building journey of this world. Promise we'll get back to making some adventurous progress soon, but I've just kind of been in the mood for some building, and I really like the progress that we've made. I hope that you've enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone!